that is a completely different beast to most normal men. Frank, from when I first met him, was always seemed very fit and athletic. And he was forever running. Every night was a long run. He ran every circuit that we were at the racetrack. He used to run round it. And he felt bad if he didn't, you know, it was like a drug for him. Frank is very, what would be called, focused. Some people could say narrow. I mean, some people find Frank a bit unusual now and think it's because of the accident. Well, it isn't. He was always very unusual. In Frank, there's a huge amount of repression. There's a huge amount of determination. There is an extraordinary retentive obsessiveness. I suppose motor racing people in general are the most intensely competitive people I've ever known. Uh, they're not very mature intellectually or culturally because they neither read nor think uh, very much except about what they actually do, to which they think in a, to an extraordinary degree. You were always fairly antisocial. I think motor racing people are fairly insular. I've never been close to Frank socially. I mean, I've, we've never... I don't know, I don't think we've ever been out for dinner together. He felt that anything uh, that involved socialising and having a drink or relaxing was actually a waste of time. He hasn't got any interest outside motor racing. He doesn't read. He really doesn't have any anything going on in his life at all, apart from motor racing. 